Jehovah's Witnesses Accused of Child Sexual Abuse in Pennsylvania. A bombshell probe in Pennsylvania has implicated nine men in a child sexual abuse scandal within the Jehovah's Witnesses, marking the most extensive and comprehensive investigation of abuse within the church's history in the United States. So this is the largest investigation into the Jehovah's Witnesses that has happened so far. The grand jury probe began in 2019 and sent shockwaves through the church as a series of charges have been filed in recent months. The investigation is similar to a grand jury proceeding of child sexual abuse committed by Catholic priests, which resulted in a lengthy 2018 report stating how dozens of priests abused children for seven decades. The report also described how church officials covered up abuse in the uh, incidences of abuse. Critics argue that the Jehovah's Witnesses have long mishandled child sexual abuse cases by treating them as a sin rather than a crime and failing to report them to authorities. They also point out the church's requirement for a second witness in abuse complaints as additionally problematic. Despite the church denying these allegations, many have testified before the grand jury or provided information to the state's attorney general, shedding light on this deeply troubling issue. An attorney for one of the accused men stated, quote, honestly, it appears to be some sort of attack on their religion. You have all these Jehovah's Witnesses getting charged with some sort of inappropriate behavior. I'm hoping that this is not the attorney general's office piling on due to their religious beliefs, end quote. It's the the part that you said they treat it as a sin, uh, not a crime. So captures the a major part of why these things keep happening in religious institutions. I that think is that kind so, of summarizes it more than anything else I've heard yes. before. Yes, yes, exactly. They and this is the problem because no matter how much they say they're going to treat it seriously, they're going to treat it as a sin. You know, the Catholic Church, the Jehovah's Witnesses, or any other group, sins are forgivable. They're like, oh, yeah, you could take you could take this very, very, very seriously. But as long as you think this is an internal matter, a sin that could be forgiven and not a crime that needs to be reported and punished, um, you're not going to, you're, you're going to, these, these things happen again. And again, the, the crime, the... The, the cost, the tragedy that they think that has happened to, uh, here, the way that the religious people, no matter what religion it is, the, 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 no matter, the way that they look at this um, is that not that the suffering of the children, but the fact that their sin has been committed and that that's the part that needs to be cleansed. That's the part that needs to be forgiven and cleaned, not the harm, not the suffering not the victim you know so th this attitude makes this, these environments uh, su mm -hmm. such a such a toxic place for more victims to mm -hmm. come in place and also also because it come, always leaves you a way out a door to forgiveness and cleanse you know and knowing that knowing that you will always have a way to completely fix everything through asking for forgiveness and repenting makes encourages more people to continue doing this because you know that you always have a way to completely make it fix everything with the community. There will be a lack of accountability and consequences. Yeah. Or maybe appropriate consequences. Um, this is why Christianity and Islam and Jehovah's Witness and everything else is to be blamed for actions like this, even if it doesn't directly tell you that this is okay. Because it provides you with a license to sin. It tells you that we're all sinner. Everybody is a sinner. Somebody might lie to their mom and somebody might, uh, you know, molest the child and another person might uh, commit genocide. These are all just sins. We're all sinners. And we, and Jesus has died for all of them. Jesus has died for every single one of them as long as you accept them. So it's just basically, it's amazing because religions that act like they are the source of morality they are actually the very opposite they, what they do is they provide you a license to commit whatever sin you want as long as you accept as long as you accept their savior or as long as you understand that um to be accepted you just have to believe in certain things and then you're good mm -hmm. 
And I think I wanted to talk about this because this is the most historic and significant investigation into the Jehovah's Witnesses we've had in this realm of things in the United States so far. And activists who are either ex-Jehovah's Witnesses or who are still, you know, religious but maybe left the church because of the abuse that they survived um, have been fighting extremely hard for years to hold this institution known as the Watchtower Organization accountable for their failure and continued negligence in safeguarding children and safeguarding vulnerable people within their institution in general. And I know that this is based on the research that I have done and what I have read this is a sy systemic problem in the Jehovah's Witnesses. Not only CSA in specific, but tolerating abuse in general, including domestic abuse. Um, and so, you know, this the, the result of the probe so far is that there have been, you know, charges filed against about nine men, or there have been nine men that have been implicated, right? That still needs to go to trial. And when this goes to trial during the discovery phase, there will be so much information that comes forth about this highly confidential and secretive organization. And I think this is this is going to continue to be extremely important. And um, I really hope that the victims get the justice that they're looking for. And I know that this is the result of years of tireless dedication in fighting for the victims and survivors. And um, so I, in a way, I want to like congratulate the people who have been so tireless in fighting for this justice because it has been extremely difficult and taxing and this is a huge step. And now we need to actually go through the justice process and let it play out. Yeah. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.